there. Welcome back to this episode of Scouting Over Easy. We hope that you learned a lot of great tips last week, but we've got more for you this week. I'm so excited to share this with you. And I, speaking of sharing, I hope that you're liking and sharing our Facebook page, our YouTube videos, and a lot of great other social media opportunities so more scout leaders can learn great tips. Now, we're gonna start with our all-stars. Once again, the scouting in Atlanta is strong. This past week was Memorial Day. And if that is not an opportunity for scouts to show their duty to their country and honor the men and women who've given their lives for our country, I don't know what is. Thank you to all of the scouts who gave time and effort to make Memorial Day a great display of scouting spirit. I also want to tell you about another all-star, the Cub Scouts in PAC 1429 in the Northern Ridge District. The Alpharetta Presbyterian Church sponsors this pack, and these scouts participated in a drive-up crossover ceremony. How about that? Pretty unique and creative. I also want to com congratulate everybody who participated in this year's Scouting for Food campaign. We collected over 17,000 meals worth of Scouting for Food this year. If your unit or your scouts participated, thank you. Now, we've all come up with some great adventures, new opportunities, and unique ways to keep ourselves busy. In fact, I just heard one this, this, uh, this afternoon. The Pensacola Blue Wahoos minor league baseball team are renting out their stadium as an Airbnb. Can you imagine that? Get ready, pack up your group and go. 10 Cub Scouts enjoying that opportunity? Well, if you don't have $1,500 per person, we've got some options for you. This week's expert is gonna show you some great ways to keep your summer busy. Tori Shores is the Atlanta Area Council Day Camp Coordinator. She's got some terrific ideas for your unit to stay busy over the summer. Take it away, Tori. Thank you, Jenny. My name is Tori Shores. I am the Atlanta Area Council Day Camp Chair. I'm here today with Cybersaurus, and we are gonna talk to you about all of the fun activities we have going on this summer. But first, Cybersaurus, why don't we start with a joke? Does that sound good? What do you get when you cross a dinosaur with fireworks? Dynamite! <laughs> one more? You want more? Okay, I got it. Which dinosaur slept all day? The dinosaur! <laughs> See, we got this going on, Cybersaurus. So the first activity I'm going to talk to you about is our cyber camp. So this is our day camp, and this year it's gonna be, the platform's a little different, and we are doing a cyber camp. We're gonna have a couple of different options, and this camp is gonna have both online instructors as well as a box where you can do the activities at home. So some of the things that we have going on that are coming in the box, we have a compass. Um, we're gonna walk you through some really cool map and compass activities. We have a yo-yo so you can work on your yo-yo belt loop. We have a sundial, um, dino wind chimes, the water cycle. We have a fun scavenger hunt that you can do at home. We're gonna have some prehistoric amber in the kit, um, a tree you can plant make your own beeswax candle. That one's always my favorite. Um, we're gonna learn about constellations. We're gonna have some owl pellets, all kinds of amazing things in this box. Some of our things are gonna be rank specific um, and then some will be for everybody. We are gonna have some live instructors virtually. We're gonna have a nature instructor. We're gonna have some martial arts. We are gonna have some sports training, hopefully um, some soccer instruction. We are gonna have some live cooking classes. We are gonna have um, an amazing art instructor who's coming to walk us through some really cool art activities. So this camp is gonna be great for $65. You get the kit, you get the live instruction, you're gonna get our fantastic um, Jurassic Adventure t-shirt as well as your patch. So we hope to have all of you registered and participating in our 
cyber camp. And I think this summer more than ever, it is important for the scouts to be outdoors, participating and doing fun things. So Sabasaurus, as we finish up, should we tell them a few more jokes? All right, here we go. What do you get when you cross a pig with a dinosaur? Jurassic Park! <laughs> <laughs> hey, my audience is, is leaving me. Why did the Potosaurus devour the factory? Because she was a plant eater. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope that you learned all you could about your summer activities. And I hope to see you soon. Bye. Great job, Tori. You did a really good job. Appreciate you putting that together. Those look like super fun summertime activities. I continue to be amazed at the creativity and imagination of our volunteers and scouts around Atlanta. In fact, I got a great example that Troop 15, the Holy Cross Catholic Church in Hightower Trail, where they put together a virtual court of honor and put together this really cool video of it. Take a look at this video. Wow, that's a pretty cool video. Thanks, Troop 15, and great job. Has your Troop Packer crew had a virtual court of honor? Uh, if not, you should try to have one, and, and if possible, shoot a video of it and share it with us. Jenny, I really liked your uh, patriotism. In fact, it inspired me to create my own waffle iron flag display. And it kind of reminds me, here's an idea, a good challenge for troops, packs, and crews. How about doing a virtual flag ceremony and see how creative you can be. Shoot us a video and share it. You can share your videos by putting a link to the video in the comments under this video, or you can email a link to info at atlantabsa.org and put over easy in the subject line. Well, that's it for this week's egg edition of Scouting Over Easy. I'm Lewis Todd. See you on the flip side.